Okay, we're back. I'm uh, going to uh, work on part two, the, the capital of the column. And uh, the capital of the column is literally the head of the column. And uh, let's take a look at what I mean by that. Here's, here's the capital in total right here. I'm going to call this beveled part the tapered capital. And then we're going to also have this little element right here called the abacus. And um, what we're doing now is getting back to SketchUp. And I think I'm just going to select this face here and pick up my circle tool and what I'm trying to do here is get it to recognize the center of this which I did by clicking on one of the edges or not clicking but hovering my mouse over it and so now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and, and, and creating another circle on top but I kinda want to be careful when I do this here I want it to be on the green axis okay so I've kinda moved my cursor way off to the side here and I'm working with the green axis see how my rubber band a line is green. I just want to click on that and then I want to adjust its size and I think I'm going to go ahead and adjust it to uh, 0.32 meters and that'll give me a circle something like that. And we're doing this here we've we had to get it had our get our corners on our green axis there to make all our geometry line up nicely and so what we're faced here with is we want to go ahead and extrude this part up using push-pull but we're going to have to do this in two steps okay so because you can see I can click on one one part part of this here and it's going to extrude upward but then we have to do the center point as well so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use the outside part first and I'm going to extrude that up 0.1 meters and then I'm going to go back to the center part part here and I'm just going to extrude it up to the same level all right, so you see now we've got this cylinder on top here, which is fine. That's what we're going to use our taper with. But see this little part here in the center? We've got to get rid of that. So we've got to use the um, erase tool here. And so I'm going through here and erasing stuff, erasing these segments on the top. And uh, it's kind of tedious, but um, we just want to be careful we just don't erase anything other than these little, it looks like a gear. Uh, we want to erase these parts that make up our fluting. All right, <clears throat> so just erasing. Oh, see now I made a mistake, so I'm going to have to undo it, and it's okay. I mean, we just we just undo it. If I had a better look at it, it'd be easier. All right, so going through here and erasing the stuff. Okay, so it looks pretty good, except for a little problem on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and click on this here with my select tool. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hide. Now on the inside here, see we got all this extra geometry that we don't need. We really need to have good modeling practices. It, whoops, I'll just undo that, no problem. But we want to have good modeling practice here. These are what I'd call stray, stray edges, I guess. And uh, so we're just going to get rid of these things here. And uh, you know that top part's not really gone from, from the model. It's just hidden. So that gives me good access inside of here to get rid of some of these extra little uh, doodads. And so that's a really technical term there. So what I'm going to do here is uh, unhide this. So it's edit, unhide, all. And so now I'm back there. My geometry is in good shape. I kind of check around to make sure it's in good condition. And now I'm going to select this here, type the S key again, hold my shift key down, and I'm going to scale this out here to... Uh, 1.3 meters, 1.3 units, something like that. So you see that gives us a nice tapered look right there. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is going to um, push pull this upward and I think it's uh, 0.1 meters. And you see that gives us a capital for our Doric column. Okay, well I think that's it for uh, the Doric column here. So good luck with your modeling and we'll uh, talk to you soon.